Well, we're committed to Gibraltarian sovereignty. Our approach um, to uh, the ongoing negotiations, uh, EU uh, Gibraltar, um, is one of the double lock. You know, we would never do anything that uh, the Gibraltarian government didn't approve of in terms of the process and the outcome. So, uh, and our commitment, because of the importance, the strategic importance of Gibraltar, is. Uh, is unshakable, and that's. I think that 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 link is is something we're very proud of. I think uh, the the conversations I've had over the last twenty four hours, I think, are a reminder of uh, how uh, proud Gibraltarians are of uh, uh, their status. Uh, we saw that during the uh, during the passing of our late Queen, and um, in fact, I was supposed to be out here for uh, National Day. Uh, uh, last month, and uh, my, my visit was, was delayed because of the death of uh, Her Majesty the Queen, so I'm very pleased to be here now. But I'm also immensely proud, as are Gibraltarians, of, of, our, of our shared heritage. So we can't read anything into the timing of, of your visit, because of course the focus of most of your meetings must have been those treaty negotiations. Yes, indeed. It's been very useful, though. I, uh, I think um, I've had a really good look at the airport and the, the frontier because, of course, the movement of people, the movement of frontier workers and mobility generally is a really important component of the negotiations. Um, and uh, it's, it's good to see the infrastructure up close. Uh, but I think more broadly, it's been, it's been good just to, to, just to understand the, the overall context and uh, the very significance of uh, Gibraltar in terms of our uh, you know the, str the strategic importance of the naval base and the 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 dynamic economy of, of Gibraltar and the remarkable things that Gibraltarians have achieved in recent years in terms of in terms of the economy and the uh, you know the increase in the GDP per capita has been a remarkable success story. Well, as someone who supported Brexit and with Gibraltar excluded from the withdrawal agreement, do you feel some sort of responsibility to help us achieve a positive deal? I mean, absolutely. That's because I'm a government minister, and uh, you know we regard Gibraltar as, as very important. But um, you know, I think uh, for me, my Brexit vote was about uh, s something which Gibraltarians care deeply, which is sovereignty. And uh, I think that that informs our approach to these negotiations, but our but our politics more generally. Uh, and uh, you know, I say that as a parliamentarian who who, who represents constituents who uh, like Gibraltarians. I think feel really strongly about sovereignty and being able to uh, you know, forge your own destiny, which is something really very important. Well, there are some who might be concerned that the price we'll pay for a deal might be too high. Can you give assurances that that sovereignty you talk about won't be infringed? It's a good question. So we are absolutely committed to the, the double lock. We would never engage in any negotiations uh, that were not uh, approved by uh, the Gibraltarians in terms of the process and the outcome, that's the double lock. And uh, sovereignty is, is off the table, it's, it's unquestioned, it's, it's, it's off the table. These are technical negotiations about uh, ways in which the frontier is managed, basically. So, uh, so we are, there's a deep commitment from our side to, uh, to Gibraltarian sovereignty. Well, treaty negotiations appear to have needed a few jump starts. It can't have helped that your party underwent a new leadership. So how do you see the Conservatives after a rather rocky start for Liz Truss? I think with a new Prime Minister and a new Why government, we do have sort of fresh impetus uh, pushing forward on the negotiations. Um, it was good that our Foreign Secretary of State, uh, James Cleverly, met with the, the Spanish uh, Foreign Minister. So I would say, uh, it, I mean, to answer your question more broadly, I think um, we've, we've got, a, we've got a, a, a new Prime Minister, but we've got the same foreign policy, which is very active, uh, very committed to helping our Ukrainian allies defend against Russian aggression. Um, still entirely committed to being a very active uh, member of NATO and uh, with all of the sort of global security implications that means, including in uh, Gibraltar. And so I think uh, we, yeah, we are, we're, in, we're in very good shape, I would say. Well, sir, I know they're waiting for you for a rock tour right now. As former Defence Minister, Gibraltar must be a very interesting place. It's absolutely marvellous. In fact, my, I, know, I, mean, I know this the spirit of the Gibraltarians because when I was serving in Iraq in the British Army, we had we had we had Royal Gibraltar Regiment uh, 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 soldiers attached to us, and so I've got a deep uh, uh, respect and admiration for 
uh, the, the commitment of Gibraltarians, uh, not just in the military sense, but also in the way that you've forged an amazingly diverse and uh, buoyant economy and community here. And it's absolutely marvellous uh, uh, and huge fun being back here. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the day uh, to, to really enjoy that.